All right, this video is going to go over number 10 of the MAC 1105 College Algebra Final Exam Review. Number says to solve the equation by the square root property, 7x minus 6 squared equals 6. Try to get x by itself working from the outside, and on the outside is we have this squared. I'm pointing while you can see my camera, but let me switch screens. All right, so on the outside is that squared. So we need to get rid of that squared. The opposite of squared is square root. So let's take the square root of both sides. That way the square and the square root cancel each other out. Don't forget whenever we take the square root, we have our plus or minus. So don't forget plus or minus. Oops. So if we have 7x minus 6 equals plus or minus the square root of 6. If I were to break down 6, it would just be 2 times 3. So there's no 2 of a kind. So nothing I can do to simplify that radical. So we can just leave it as the square root of 6. Getting x by itself, let's move that negative 6 to the other side. So let's add 6 to both sides. That way negative 6 plus 6 cancels out. We're left over with 7x equals 6 plus or minus the square root of 6. Those are not like terms, so I cannot combine it. So just leave it. Last but not least, um, it's 7 times x, so we're going to move that 7 to the other side. We're going to divide both sides by 7. Notice everything on the left-hand side, so everything on the right-hand side will be divided by 7. So we're left over with x equals 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 all over 7. Nothing could be simplified, so we're going to leave it just like that. That's our final answer, which is letter D. And that's number 10. Let me show you the answer choices. So that's letter D. 6 plus or minus square root of 6 over 7. Thank you for watching.